Okay, so what is up? It is Nistro here, guys, and today uh, we're just doing this um, Buster Blader Eidolon Blue Eyes deck profile. It's uh, a bit crazy um, from uh, first look, but, you know, give it a chance and uh, you'll definitely see exactly what we're doing here. So, um, we uh, we start off with the uh, Dragon Spirit of White, right? Uh, it's, it's just here. Uh, pretty much for Sage, because uh, Sage can just summon it from the deck. It's 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 just a blue eyes card, and when it's summoned, it uh, banishes Spell Chopper. That's that's the main reason why you play this card. Um, pretty much for Sage. Uh, so the three Buster Bladers. Uh, this is usually standard in your Buster Blader build. Like you play one of Destruction Swordmaster and two of the regular Buster Blader, only because he isn't treated as a he's only treated as Buster Blader on the field and graveyard. And a lot of these cards specifically list Buster Blader and not just a Buster Blader monster. So, um, yeah, you just keep him as one of. You, you dump him when you can. And, uh, yeah. Uh, but it's the regular Buster Blader, he's searchable, but you, but only by the spell card, not in the way that you want to be searchable. Which is kind of a problem in this deck sometimes, because you don't always get the spell card. You only get, like, a whelp and, like, a fusion spell. And uh, it doesn't, it usually doesn't always work out. But triple, uh, triple Alistair, he, uh, he, he just, uh, gets the deck going, you know, if you draw into Reckless Magic Circle, you activate that, you Norm Summon out Alistair, and then you search, uh, your Summoning Magic, that's already, uh, three cards in deck, especially if you start out with a Terraforming, like, like, Terraforming, Circle, uh, Eilon, uh, Alistair, and then the Fusion Spell. Uh, the Fusion Spell is definitely helpful, you know, um, as you can see, we're running the... Merkaba or Mechaba in uh, TCG and uh, the Earth one because you're playing these Buster Bladers here. And uh, one of the 1 1 just because, you know, in case you ever go into Castell or. I just really like the 1 1. Uh, so, Triple Whelp, uh, he searches all your Destruction Sword cards. Um, pretty much just uh, Buster Blader, the two of the Tuner, um, the Fusion. And uh, the two trap cards did, and this one uh, right here is especially good. Um, this is probably the one you want to go to first turn, because um, this one just mills uh, a Buster Blader card and a Destruction Sword card from your deck, and just summons you out uh, Buster Dragon for free. The only problem is destroy during your next end phase, so you still have the, so you you, you still use it during your turn, which is actually pretty nice, but. Um, yeah, Welp also attributes itself to summon Buster Blader from the hand or graveyard. Uh, the, and, you know, the fact is that he can't search the regular Buster Blader. And if you search uh, the th this Buster Blader, then he can't be summoned from the hand. So it's a bit sad. Um, this guy, he's your uh, domain. So when he's equipped the Buster Blader, he stops your opponent from summoning from the extra deck. Um, and he's also a Flanic, so if, if he's equipped to Buster Blader, you special summon him and then use it for a level 8 Synchro because he just attached himself to Buster Blader from the hand. So uh, it's it's pretty useful. Um, so triple Sage, because Sage searches out your uh, Whelp and Sage also, like if you draw Sage when you have like a Alistair, so you normally summon Alistair, you search your Eidolon, right? You drop Sage and pitch Eidolon to summon out Dragon Spirit from the deck, and Dragon Spirit banishes the spell drop your opponent controls. And then you have uh, Eidolon summoning magic set up, so you can banish the Sage and Alistair from Grave, and summon out uh, Markaba from your extra deck, so it's not too shabby. He also searches Effect Veiler, which is why he's a one of. Um, you know, first turn Effect Veiler isn't too bad, but not too relevant either. Uh, double uh, Emblem Dragon Destroyer to stop your uh, Search your Buster Blader, uh, return to bring back your Buster Dragon, or if you go into uh, Cradle first turn, and this is in your grave, like you, you Foolish Burial Goods it, then you get to keep the Buster Dragon instead of it being destroyed, which is the main reason why I play it, but also just in case, you know, to bring back Buster Dragon or Dragon Spirit of White. Double Foolish bur Burial Goods, because uh, for memories and for... Uh, Fusion, in case you need to get fusion automatically, uh, that's pretty much why it's there. Uh, triple double summon, because 
the way this deck works is that uh, you kind of get there's nine cards here that benefit off of getting a normal summon so if you go sage and then like normal summon sage and then normal summon out whelp that's already like you, you're not really losing much by activating double summon like a lot of people got tight when i played it against them but um you don't really lose much for um playing double summon because it's like you, you normal summon alistair you search it i launch something magic so normal summon whelp you still search something you normal summon sage you search your whelp or your effect failure so it's uh it's pretty helpful especially with the whole loop with uh well not a loop but well, it kind of is a loop, but it's not like a infinite loop. It's like more of like a once every turn thing. Um, where I on Summoning Magic um, lets you search your... Uh, like where Alistair searches your Eidolon Summoning Magic. And uh, you use uh, Summoning Magic on Eidolon on the field. And uh, he, he gets banished and then Summoning Magic goes to the grave and then that go and then you could send this back into the deck and send Alistair back into your hand and if you double summon you can arm summon again and search your idol on summoning magic again so it's it's pretty nice but usually um it's best when yeah it's usually best for Alistair or for sage like usually with whelp you, you won't really care that much unless you um get like a Probably a destruction sword blade, um, d depending on whether you have a Buster Blade in your hand or not. But you you wouldn't need to normal summon him anyway. Like you you, you never normal summon this guy. Like you would set this guy if you need the fence, but you never summon out um, destruction sword blade. So one foolish burial for your uh, Buster Blade or destruction swordsman um, because you know he's better in grave. Or for your dragon spirit of white if you draw into a. Um, Returning to Dragon Lord's first turn. Uh, double of your fusion. Uh, it lets you use your opponent's monsters if you have Buster Dragon on the field, because Buster Dragon changes all your opponent's monsters into uh, dragon types, so it's pretty helpful. Um, one sword, because not only does it kind of uh, stop um, a few boards, like if you activate it like uh, mid to late game, you can. Uh, you can just put everything your opponent controls face down and it helps diffusion because diffusion can only attack monsters and uh he pierces as well so um it'll definitely be beneficial for you to have something like that especially with the but if you already have the soft lock with uh buster dragon and the buster blader uh fusion then you won't really need this card but it's so it's, it's more of like a just in case you know I, I completely skipped over the soul charge and double terraforming um it's it's not really like I, I feel like they don't really they don't really need an explanation like soul charge is soul charge and terraforming is terraforming like which searches your reckless magic circle which um searches your alistair and if you didn't know already um this uh pretty much your fusion spells like any like any spell card you activate that summons a fusion monster um oh no any card that that activates that summons a fusion monster can't be negated and your opponent cannot chain um to the summon of the fusion monster either so they can't bottomless they can't solemn they can't do anything but if they do try to solemn warning your fusion spell uh, your, your spell isn't negated so um it would kind of be an illegal play but Yu Gi Oh pro just lets it go through um so i i wouldn't know how, how i don't know how that would work in real life I mean, I assume once your opponent hears it can't be negated, um, they would assume it's an illegal play to to try to negate the fusion, so they wouldn't even attempt to activate it. But uh, yeah, it, if it ever happens on New Gear Pro, the card's still gonna go, uh, go through. So that, that's why this card is uh, real helpful um, in a lot of situations. So uh, memories, uh, you, you you never really, I never really used the first effect where you just discard a destruction sword card to summon a Buster Blader monster from the deck. Um, it's more for the second effect where you banish it from your graveyard and you banish the proper targets for the Buster Blader fusion, um, a Buster Blader monster and, or a Buster Blader and a dragon type monster from your grave. And you just summon it for free. The fact this is a trap card and you can activate the turn that you send it to the grave uh, means a it's a quick effect so you, you can pretty much use it anytime so if you have a buster dragon on the field and this is in the grave um you can chain to a uh, opponent's monster's effect and be like okay uh banish banish summon out the buster blader fusion 
and then Buster Blader would negate the monster's effect because Buster Dragon would make the monster tree as a dragon, and Buster Blader negates the effects uh, of dragon to your opponent controls. Um, yeah, like they like they can't activate their effects. Oh wait, wait. So that means the effect would still resolve because it it's still activated already. But if you like chain to like their summon or some or, or, or like a spell card or something that would summon something, then it would be then they would not be able to activate the effect. I thought it was their effects are negated, but it turns out it's uh, they can't activate their effects. Okay. So cradle, as I told you before, you mill instruction sword and Buster Blader summons out your Buster Dragon from um, extra deck, but it's destroyed during your next end phase. Oh no, during the end phase of the next turn. So. Use it during your opponent's turn, it's destroyed during your end phase, use it during your turn, destroyed during your opponent's end phase. Um, the second effect, the graveyard effect, is banish to stop all destruction sword cards you, you control from being destroyed. I uh, that, that effect really isn't useful because um, your destruction sword cards are don't really last, don't really stay on the field. Um, it, it'll be better if the fusion was a destruction sword card, but it's not. So the second effect is kind of it's kind of pointless. And lastly, a uh, double floodgate trap hole um, because floodgate is, you know, you, as I said before, you know, putting your opponent's monster face down is important. Um, you could take the swords out for a, a quaking because this deck could use a little more defense, but it's mostly aggressive and you kind of do get um, Merkaba out real quickly. He's kind of like the, almost the focus of this deck um, half the time. So, yeah. Um, you know, I, I find it real funny that um, I like I like instead of running the brilliant fusion way, like I, I decided to go uh, the double summon because um, I, I I don't believe in brilliant fusion. Like I only believe in brilliant fusion if your deck specifically like benefits from playing uh, brilliant fusion, or if you really like focus on like um, it, it's it's a lot more luck based than something like double sum double something is pretty straightforward and it does take up an extra slot in the extra deck but in this deck it wouldn't matter still um if uh seraph knight or if brilliant fusion had like better um fusion summoning qualities like if it could be used from like hand or deck instead of just deck then brilliant fusion would be better and i would probably be playing it but you know i've seen way too many situations where people brick with brilliant fusion and uh, I'm, I'm kind of scared to test it in a deck like this where in inconsistency is kind of common, especially for Buster Bladers. Um, so it's uh, I, I just took the safer route and just put triple double something. But Seraph Knight d could definitely work. Just find space for triple, like j take out these double summons for triple Bro Infusion and uh, take out a monster for like a Gemini Garden or something or a Lazuli and put in like a regular blue eyes instead of dragon spirit of white uh so double merkaba double the melon whatever you know if you you already know what merkaba does he just he negates negates uh buster blader fusion raijin hot red dragon arch Queen abyss you make this through a tuner and your buster dragon vermilion dragon mech uh is in the situation that you get a dragon spirit of white and uh, you still have a normal summon to get like a tuner out. That's when you go for it, and you like, okay, well, I can just pop a card after because you know you already used the tuner. There's quite a number of tuners in this deck, like especially Effect Veiler. So um, he definitely won't be that dead a lot of the time. Uh, Omega, just because he's like the best level eight synchro right now. Um, Start a spark because you know uh, it's more of a just in case. I never actually made this or Omega, like, when using this deck. So, um, it's, they're more of, like, just here, like, situational cards, but, you know, like, uh, they're not really necessary. Your focus is going to be on Buster Dragon, which, um, makes all monsters your opponent control dragon types. It's, it's level 8 synchro, so it's real easy to summon. Makes all monsters your opponent control dragon types, and, uh, if you don't control a Buster Blader monster, so if you don't control one of the two Buster Bladers or the Buster Blader Fusion, then you can special summon the Buster Blader uh, from your grave once per turn. 
and it doesn't have the whole once per turn clause where you can only activate Buster Dragon's effect once per turn. It's like once per turn per Buster Dragon. So if you bring out two Buster Dragons, then you can do it twice. As long as you don't control a Buster Blader monster. And uh, when during your opponent's turn, you can equip a Buster uh, Destruction Sword monster to, your, to a Buster Blader monster. So if you have a, a, the Dragon Buster Blader, the small level one, uh, one, then you equip it to a Buster Blader, and all of a sudden they're locked out of their extra deck. So it's pretty, it's pretty nice. And one Chris on uh, Amatrix. I just need a level five Synchro. I didn't feel like I didn't want to play Armades because Armades. I, I feel twenty three hundred attack isn't that strong. Like uh, I feel twenty five hundred is a lot better. And uh, his effect to switch all special monsters your opponent controls to defense position could come in handy. Um, especially since this deck can't really bring out high attack monsters, like monsters higher than 25 that easily, like other than Buster Blader. But he's not always on the field, like he's not always an option. Um, like your your main goal is to get the fusion out. If you can get the fusion out, then you're, you're not going to be worried about that. But there are times where you don't really get the proper cards to go into the fusion. And so you're just uh, stuck with like a, a, a Merkaba and like a Dragon Spirit of White or something. And, you know, your monsters won't be that strong. There's nothing in this deck that really boosts attack other than, like, Alistair. But, um, Alistair, you know, you can only use Alistair's uh, hand effect so many times. But, uh, yeah, so this is why Amatrix is nice. It also works with Double Summon. Like, you Normal Summon Whelp and Normal Summon Alistair, and then you go into level 5, and then you go into I Want Summoning Magic, and you banish these two, Summon on Merkaba, so... It, it definitely works. It, it helps. And Castell is just because I like Castell. It's, uh, you, you can see this triple instant fusion on the bottom. Uh, there's no Norden here. So you're probably not going to make him uh, <laughs> like a lot of games. Like he, like he's just here. You don't need him, but I just like him. Like He slowly grew into my favorite Xeen monster. Uh, side deck is a weird topic. I don't really think I'm going to talk about it. Uh, you can play Maxi if you want. You can play Raigeki if you want, but uh, I ended up not needing them. So, yeah, guys, this was my uh, Buster Blader Eilon Blue Eyes deck. Uh, I don't even know if I can call it Blue Eyes. I'm just running Sage and Dragon Spirit of White. But at the end of the day, if I don't call it Blue Eyes, people are going to be like, but why are you running Blue Eyes? So, yeah, Buster Blader Blue Eyes Eidolon, or Eidolon Blue Eyes deck. And uh, I think this might be one of the last Eidolon decks I'm doing for a while. Like, maybe another Sharanui build, or a Sharanui build, and, like, that's it for now. Um, but other than that, uh, I think that's uh, all for this video. So, uh, this was Nisho here. I'll see you guys later.